One of the fundamental concepts with the new ENA dashboards include understanding dynamic and static dashboard types. Both dynamic and static dashboards refer to the way in which information is displayed. The setting for these is shown in the Dashboard Types menu and is available when you're creating a new or editing an existing dashboard. Dynamic dashboards are context specific where the contents will reflect the current context that you have selected in the Explorer. These dashboards can be applied to views, devices, and other components. Most of the system supplied dashboards are dynamic, and as you can see here with the view-based summary dashboard, I can change views and leverage a single dashboard definition where the details about that view are updated automatically as I change my context. Also in this example, I can select the ports dashboard, and I can change context from one of my devices to another, and the dashboard updates accordingly. Static dashboards are not context specific and will only be visible if you're focused on the My Network view. I've defined a static dashboard to focus on my New York location. If I change my context as I've done here, you can see that the New York dashboard is no longer visible in my list of dashboards. Static dashboards have their place and are a good option when you need to create a dashboard that's focused on a predefined set of views, devices, and other components. As you can see here on my New York dashboard, each dashlet refers to a specific view, and in this case it's the New York view, whether I'm looking at open incidents, my New York topology, or the current state of devices. One thing to note though, in a static dashboard, the dashlets don't need to be focused on the same components. They can be different as you see here where I'm focused on my East Coast region. In this case, my dashboard definition includes dashlets that are focused on their own unique set of components. Here I'm looking at all the incidents in my East Coast region. This is a view. I've also included a device status summary and a topology map for each of my Florida and New York locations. These are different views. And finally, I've included specific device CPU metrics for each of the routers in both Florida and New York. In summary, both dynamic and static dashboards provide efficient methods to display information about your network, but they have some key differences. Static dashboards don't have a context and are only displayed when you're in the My Network view. Dynamic dashboards are context specific and will display data based on your current context, whether this is a view, device, or other component.